Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video, we have learned about enum types, how we can create enum types and how we can save the values uh, with the help of this enum type in Spring Data JPA. Okay, now in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can fetch that value when I'm using find by then how can I pass on this enum and how to get the values we'll see before that let me show you what we did in our previous video so that you will have a very good context okay so what we did is we have taken a enum type of uh, you know city where we have passed on some values and this we have given it to the shop uh, uh, shop entity here so that we will understand where this shop is residing on right so this is a enumerator annotation we have used and what we did is we have uh, saved the data like this right so in overall if we go to the table and see we got the values here right so for id1 we got the mumbai id2 chennai like that now what we are going to do is we are going to pass city then we will try to fetch all the records matching to that city okay if not matching how to handle the failure scenarios as well we are going to discuss so on a high level i will give you two approaches one direct approach where it will give you 500 if city is not existing here and there will be another approach as well we are going to discuss okay so let me start here i have taken a get mapping and we are taking a path variable of city okay now we have the string here right so from this string we need to build that enum object in order to use as part of spring data jpa right so so why because that particular field type is enum right that's why we need to build that enum type okay so let's me do like this you know shop not shop city city is our enum right? so city enum is equal to uh, city dot value of if you see here so with the help of this value of then what i can do is i can build my enum and directly i can use as part of my uh, repo okay so you could see here this is my repo then what i will do is shop repo dot find by city we have it and i have added that and this let me pass on the city enum to this okay then it will have what it will have it will have like this okay and this one we are going to return over here right cool so let me do that directly okay this is a one approach guys this approach will work really well really fast when you pass on the actual existing values okay so now you could see we have mumbai chennai right so let me show you that so for that purpose let me rerun this simply with the help of value of what i did i have taken that enum and i have passed on that to my jpa method here here i am using the list of uh, records why because for the given city there could be multiple records as well there could be zero records there could be multiple as well that's why i have taken a uh, list of shop details in this case okay so in the meantime let me start my uh, postman here now you could see shop uh, search by city and i have given the uh, thing right so let me go to the db and copy paste the already existing value okay so what will happen is mumbai okay now our application is started if i click on send now you could see we got the value properly okay now let me do one more thing something called hyderabad if i do this what will happen we are getting 200 
but no records that is also fine why we are getting that because there were no records with the Hyderabad right but but this particular Hyderabad value is existing properly in this case from that enum right this exact value is existing so that you could able to get this okay what if if I send something like this you no know, HYD unfortunately without knowing what are the values I have taken like this then if I send now you could see we are getting 500 right this is not good if I send HYD what I wanted is null records not the uh, this way okay so how do I do that we will see here so instead of this approach what will I do is simply use one more method ct dot there is a method called values here so this will return me list of values okay so if you introduce a local variable here here you could see it is returning this right then let me apply for loop here city one in values okay let me apply this for loop then city one dot get name we are getting the actual name okay if this is matching this is nothing but a string type now right now what I can do is uh, um, you know uh, equals ignore case then I will take the one which is presented if if this is the case okay okay now you could see what I did simply I have I have simply uh, iterating over this list of values presented in enum so from them I am taking whether my city is actually equals to the uh, uh, this or not okay if that's the case then I can simply call this guy here and pass on that city one okay this will be my return okay if not what I need to do here yeah, it is going out here I can simply set null okay so likewise also I can do in order to you know uh, to overcome this okay so what it is saying is instead of this what you are doing is null with empty list as well yeah this as well you can do because here we are returning the empty list right right uh, anything is works let me restart my server okay so what we did here is simply we have from the enum we are getting all the values so all the values we are going to get into my you know uh, array here city values away we are getting so from that we are going to iterate then we are going to see whether that particular value is matching with the value I have passed from my input if yes then I'll simply uh, return that value and uh, you know so this will nothing but list of shop details right if not then it will go to the else there is no else then it will iterate in the for loop once my I all the values in my enum is iterated it will simply comes out once it is comes out means what there is no value being matched so this empty list should be returned okay so that is what we did now what we are going to do is first let's pass a positive value something like Mumbai and let's run this now you could see we got this one right let me pass something called one now you could see we got the empty value with status of 500 instead of that uh, st sorry, status of 200 instead of 500 right so this is another approach that I wanted to show if you found it useful please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you